I need to see Ready Player One again. I love that movie. I have yet to see it. Dude, it's literally a movie about us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa! Nope. Yep. Yeah, he's becoming a little more red and pale. <laughs> but no, I love the yeah. I love the scenes where like virtual the world and reality like mix or like old reality mix because because it is kind of cool that you can have that. Hmm. All right. By the way, Boiler, one criticism of this HHC, it tastes weird. The snozberries taste like snozberries. <clears throat> no, uh, this HHC, uh, my one criticism of it is that it tastes weird. Weird how? I mean, like, if I told you before you took a hit of it that it comes from seeds and pollen, then you... I suppose something about it makes sense when I remind myself of that, but it has almost like um, no, oh! ah, uh. a weird savory note. But it's but it's like indescribably weird. But it's like it's sudden injection of savory that doesn't feel like it should go with smoke. It it's it doesn't taste like toxic. It's just weird. Still like ah, no. but you can tell it's plant. Kind of like wood smoke. Yeah, one sec. Let me take a hit and say this is a Jesus berry. <coughs> Damn, it was up. Actually, wait. <coughs> it's like diluted mint. Huh. Mint the plant or mint the candy? <coughs> yes. Yeah, well, it's more like mint yes. candy. Because, no, 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 I get what you mean by that. It's more like mint candy than mint plant. Okay. Makes sense. You know, like mint mixed with sugar, basically. Yeah. Ooh. It's smokier. Nope. Minty is just cold. Damn! Spicy. Yeah, literally. You want to know a fun fact? What? If you eat sure. something spicy and you eat something minty, those two don't actually cancel each other out because they use two entirely <coughs> different taste glands. Are they entirely different substances, too? Like, I know spice is an oil, which is why water doesn't remove it. That's why you gotta get that milk or the bread. Yeah, milk, bread, uh, basically, Yogurt. if it's a fat, it'll work, because a fat can scrape off oil. Um, I noticed for whatever reason, I don't know if this is placebo or not, does anyone feel like um, you can slightly deal with spice better if you're drinking something carbonated, even if it is like Coke or something? That just... Yes and no. That kind yeah, of I'm depends wondering... on me, really. Yeah, because sometimes it feels like the carbonation is like pushing it off. Oh, it's you I'm again! Still, but I'm still wondering if that's like placebo. I, yeah. I don't know. I've never had that kind of experience where I negatively had like some taste of like carbon and then fucking spice on top of it. So I wouldn't know. Ooh. Oh, that's sadistic. What? I came across this Tumblr post where it says, I I read that capsaicin makes your mouth feel like it's burning. Capsaicin. Yeah, capsaicin. That's that's the spice in yeah that that's and, the spice that's just what spice is it's capsaicin yeah. yeah makes your mouth feel like it's burning hot because it increases your nerve sensitivity the heat and methanol works by doing the same thing to cold so what so if i eat a habanero pepper and then chew on a bunch of breath mints still cancel each other i'll be fine the next response hey guess what hellfire tastes like yep yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like I said, two entirely separate fucking senses. 
Well, you know what's also interesting about that? If you got stomach issues um, or issues with spice, you can... Don't quote me on this. I'm not a medical expert, but I was told this by someone who had this, so I'm just taking their word for it. I'm not going to name them because they also don't have a medical degree. I'm just taking their anecdote. Mm -hmm. Apparently, if you're sensitive to spice, a a way around that is you can apparently still have wasabi because wasabi doesn't operate. It's technically not a spice because apparently it's not an oil. Hmm. It produces a spice-like sensation. It is a little, wasabi does hit very different though, like especially on the roof of the mouth. Yeah, because that's where I mostly feel wasabi. I don't really feel it on my tongue. I feel it more on the roof of my mouth. I feel it on my cheeks. I used to enjoy having wasabi with sushi, but then like, I don't know. It, it feels more like, you know, those tingling sensations are more overbearing compared to, like, enjoying the taste of the sushi itself. I haven't had wasabi in a while. The thing ever, the, like, my intro, the funny thing is, is that my introduction to wasabi, because I never knew what wasabi was, until I was, like, 14 or some shit, uh, was the Jackass movie where Steve-O would take a small oh. straw and inhale it through his nostril. Oh, fucking wasabi uh, snooters. I remember that one. Uh, I think the last time I had wasabi was at, uh, was at Will's wedding. We all went to that, like, authentic sushi place, and they had wasabi on the side of the bowl. Hmm. It's that pretty shit nice. tasted delicious, my god. I don't remember that. I'm 99% sure. Oh. I'm 99% sure it's the wooden. No, I think you're thinking of the uh, the Vegas trip, because we did go to a Japanese place at, like, the day after the Caribbean place. And Can that's it be? Where... My world would yeah, move purely... has been defeated! Your world would move didn't do shit, buddy! It actually gave me advantages! Yeah, it literally <laughs> carried him over the attacks. Yeah! What are you? Um, I'm a Red Aramur. What are you? A fucking loser. But I'm Tish. In our loser. World. Yeah, beat it, loser. Also, it definitely <laughs> wasn't Vegas. Was it? Hmm. Nope. There's no way that it was Vegas. Hmm. It was definitely. Yeah, it had to have been the wedding because that was the. It was the same fucking place where we all played Mario Party, and then you got bamboozled by Josh. Oh yeah, the, I, you can't even trust the good Christian boys. <laughs> I never did. Why are you acting so surprised about this shit? <laughs> no, I, I did just find the funniest thing was um, Josh uh, asked for a tarot. I was giving tarot card readings at the wedding, and I was giving more in the hotel room because I thought, why not? Um, so me and Riley and the others are chilling. Uh, I, Josh is like, I'd like a reading. I'm like, okay, cool. And initially he was asking about uh, some other life thing, and a noteworthy thing about tarot card questions, um, you can get what I refer to as a spliced reading, where if, apparently if you have a more important Ow! question that's like hanging on your mind and it really wants it answered, ah. um, it will sometimes be so powerful that it will try and answer what you asked and what you actually wanted to ask in a, you might say. I'll put that in air quotes. So I realized he was getting a spliced reading. I'm just like... And I stopped, like, in the about in the middle of it. I'm like, okay, wait, this is making too many contradictions, and these don't even seem a tad... This is a... And then I looked at Josh, and I'm like, okay, what's really on your mind? Because I can tell something is eating at you more just in oh, your attitude shit. and in these cards. And he's like, he cracks me, he's like, okay, so you're right. There's a thing about the D&D campaign and Welcome to the Show that I'm really, really, like, really, really (laughs) nervous about. And it turned out, legitimately, that was the top thing on his head. Because when I gave him the reading for that, it wasn't Splice. (laughs) (laughs) Josh, we love you. (laughs) You're a Joshy boy. No, and he he was asking about like a serious thing involving like the idea of like oh is you know is his college is his college trying to squeeze money out of him because of the GI Bill? Ah shit! Um, Damn it! 
I was like, that's a pretty big, important question, because that's... Yeah, it's the GI... He has a GI Bill, but it's, like, still... Yeah. All that, but... Still, D&D. &D, most highest prison question. Maybe I'll just come to this some other time. Priorities. Again, we love you, Josh. You are an amazing Mia. We love your dedication. <laughs> we love the pure boy. We love you, homeboy. He good he boy. The boy. No homo, though. I still... I can't go over it, but like the again, I'm still rewatching a whole bunch of Welcome to the Show. But when I first like watching through it, and just the pregnancy scene where she just deletes the baby just from existence, teleport gone. I had to step back for a moment and be like, "Hmm, hmm. that was interesting. That was dark. <laughs> oh. Where am I? Who are these people?" <laughs> <laughs> and then I promptly used it in my campaign because I thought it was cool. <laughs> hey, Bliss, we're talking about Welcome to the Show. I noticed. Oh, you're not on the call anymore. Hmm. She never was. No. She was never on the call. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah, no, I. Hey, bo hey, Border, uh, this HHC hits real hard. I didn't even fucking notice that Bliss has never been in the call tonight. What Jesus the fuck? Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm <laughs> having fucking hallucinations. I mean, if it helps you, I'm about to take my second uh, ATHC hit of the night because I've just taken another ATHC hit, and now I need to do my second round of whatever the hell is active right now. Oh, I just took a hit. Whatever's in the <laughs> chamber. Okay, so here's what I have uh, for my... This is my second... Uh, I'll, t I'll call it a second reload. <coughs> My tactical reload, if you will. Yes. Um, uh, honey Kush Vape. Oh, what nice. Was number Wait, what was number five? I need to get my little cheat sheet that tells me what everything is. Number five, uh, Northern Lights D8. I like that name. Uh, you know, I just yeah, I love Northern. No, Northern Lights will knock you on your ass. I love it. <laughs> it would be really easy to differentiate, like which strain you had, if they just made the little mouthpiece a different color for each one. That, or just like etched in initials in it, because Northern Lights NL. That's so easy. Yeah, there's some. Because <laughs> there's way too many strains. There's not enough colors. Yeah, exactly. It's really hard to differentiate just by color alone, unless you're that guy who's like a fucking connoisseur. He's like, oh yes, is it? Or you speak Russian. He matches that of Northern Lights. Hmm. Yeah, no, or no, I can usually tell sometimes by the taste, but definitely by the high, what, sometimes generally what it is, or at least what family it's in, because the me, strawberry... it's definitely mostly fr uh, flavor profile that I... The easiest one like. to identify... Yeah, the easiest one for me to identify is anything strawberry. If anything oh, is in the yeah. strawberry family, it's the easiest thing I can identify by taste. I, I still fucking need to try out strawberry cough again, because I think that's my that's my favorite one. No, I want to get some. Okay, uh, hit me up next time you're at one of the places that has that, because I may legit PayPal you for the next meetup. Hmm. Because I would also, like, if they don't have strawberry cough here, I really would like some strawberry cough. And um, that blue Skittles Euphorico sounded really, really nice. It was. It was fucking great. And in return, Border, if you want, I could also, uh, as part of the exchange, if you wish to PayPal me money for me to select for you a dank D10 THCA or uh, HHC, I shall select some for you, and then we shall exchange. Yeah, that sounds like a fucking plan. <sighs> you could plan it before an abduction. <laughs> Maybe. 